Oh Lord, oh Jesus. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I've made wigs before in the past, but today I'm going to be following a tutorial by Peak Mill. And um, yeah. Now, everybody knows who Peak Mill is if you don't know who she is. She is an awesome, awesome, awesome blogger, YouTuber. She does mainly hair, weave, wigs, that sort of thing. She is a wigologist, wig master, wig everything. She says she doesn't do hair for a living and stuff, but she's amazing. And I want to see if I can follow along and get some good results. Or maybe I might have to take one of her wig classes. Um, but yeah, I think I'm okay at making wigs. It's not like my profession or anything. I'm not a hairstylist. I just kind of, you know, just work with what I've got because I don't want to spend a lot of money. This time I have a proper wig making block. I'm so excited. I've never had one before. I always used to use like the cheap two pound ones that I get from my local beauty supply store because I thought that was fine. Um, but now I have something that's secure that I can work with. So let's see what I'm going to make. I hope it turns out really well, but um, we'll see. Let's get into the video. I aligned the frontal onto the dome cap and started sewing. Okay, so I'm pretty much just gonna sew the hair exactly how I normally do because it works. And then I'm gonna try, try to style it like Peak Mill's hair. Let's, let's just see how it works out, shall we? I'm loving this mannequin head, it just makes things so much easier. I used to have to balance this between my legs and just, just no, it wasn't working out. But I did get the wigs done, so it couldn't have been that bad. But this is just so much easier and I'm assuming it's going to be quicker too. I'm going to sew the hair down as normal because it's just so much easier for me and I don't have the same wig cap or uh, a 360. My cap is a U part closure, so it's just easier. It is on now. I now have to try and style it. I think I'm gonna make it really short. I've never had hair this short before. Oh my god! Hairline just a tiny bit more to my liking and started cutting. She bleached her hair first and then decided to pluck and style. But I just went ahead and plucked it anyway and then I'm gonna bleach it afterwards. This would be the part where I end up messing it all up, wouldn't it? Let's just hope I can get this right. I cut the hair as much as I could to follow her directions. And this is the pic that she was using as inspiration and that became my inspiration too. So you ready to see how close I came to it? You ready to see the results? Da -da -da! Pow! <laughs> I think I did a really good job. So I put the wig on you guys after styling it and I have to say I'm really impressed it looks so cute and I was so nervous oh my god I've never cut a wig this short before I've never followed anybody's style of doing wigs I just kind of do my own thing so I was really nervous that it wasn't going to come out the way I wanted especially because this is a u-part wig it's so hard for me to style a u-part wig in the way that I want because you just don't have that freedom that you'd have if you had an ear-to-ear -ear lace closure but I have to say this hair is amazing like Ali sugar this hair was bomb look how flowy it is it's so soft I'm just going to style this a little more so I can get it the right kind of way that I want I want as much body as possible in the front I know I look a little crazy okay guys so I've teased the hair a lot and I'm finally happy with how it looks <laughs> So let me know what you think. I've just got some pins in the back here, just keeping it flat until it's set. But I definitely wanna know what you think of the style. And how did I do with my inspiration for it? Is it close? Is it not? What do you think? Let me know. Oh, and before I forget, Ali Sugar Hair is doing a giveaway of bundles of hair in 16, 18, and 20 inches. You could win $187 worth 
of hair. All you have to do is follow them on Facebook and Instagram. The link is in the description bar. And you have to share this video to Facebook tagging at Ali Sugar Hair. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.